Hello, little buggy buddies. It is I, your buggy overlord, Gale. And today, I'm doing a voice video. Voice over. What? I haven't done one of these in a while. <laughs> this is a special occasion. <laughs> so, obviously, if you've been following my Instagram or my Twitter or have been conversing conversations with me in Discord, you'd know that I have gained an obsession. This is much more obsessive than all the other obsessions that I've had over franchises and that this is probably bigger than the, when I was 12 13 and I was obsessed over Five Nights at Freddy's no this is much bigger I am obsessed and I mean I am obsessed with this franchise and yet half the people I talk to about doesn't really know it and I don't blame them but the the series is very crude and is known for its very weird sense of humor. Very dark. <laughs> um, but yeah. If you couldn't really tell from the speed paint, it's Sam, it's Sam Max. I have fallen head over heels for this franchise and... You know, I don't really regret it. This is actually one of the first comfort franchises that I've ever had, like, a like, connection to. Like, I feel so happy whenever someone talks about Sam and Max or if I see something about Sam and Max. And so I decided, hey, now that I like this stuff, why not make some fan art? Or even better, let's make an alternate universe. Haven't done one of those in a while. <laughs> when was the last time I made an alternate universe? I think it was when I was in year seven. Jeez. Oh, damn. Three... Three, four years. Sheesh. I have not made an alternate universe in such a long time. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So, I decided it'd be cool to mix in the greatest detective, Sherlock Holmes, and his story. And uh, mix it in a little pop with the Sam and Mac franchise. And I made my own Sherlock Holmes AU. But it's called Samuel Holmes because Sam. <laughs> Uh, but basically, the premise of this AU is basically the same synopsis as the original storyline of, uh, well, not storyline, but more so the basic synopsis of the original franchise, except it's set in the Victorian era, and instead of doing freelance policing, uh, they take on private investigations for paranormal activities. Well, not just paranormal activities, just activities that most PIs wouldn't get themselves involved in, like, for example, cult behaviours or, um, ghosts and whatnot. Because, obviously, it's, it's Sam and Max. They're stubborn and they're stupid. <laughs> but I love them. Anyway, so basically, in these, uh, speed paint, as you can see, I've, uh, I've actually made a little, um, reference chart that I have uploaded to my Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, but basically, these are the two main designs that I have made for Sam and Max. I am planning on designing the other characters like Bosco and Seagull and whatnot uh, and setting them in this sort of time era, like this sort of era of time that the Victorian era is, which I'm pretty sure is like late 1800s to the early 1900s uh but yeah so far the story's kind of underdeveloped i haven't gone any further with it other than the fact that um sam and max just like in the original franchise were best friends since they were little except that i want to make it that sam at least had a bit of a wealthier life unlike max who was severely poor which is obviously why the names are so different and why Samuel is Samuel and then Max is Max. Kind of wanted to put in that sort of difference. Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, but anyway, like I said, the story's kind of underdeveloped. It might, the backstories might change, uh, the timeline, like, their adventures, I might switch around a bit in that. Genuinely, it's going to be the same, except for the fact that Noir Sam is going to come out a bit more than 
uh, he, he's going to be a lot more of a reappearance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically in one of the games, I'm pretty sure it's the Devil's Playhouse. I can't remember, honestly. Uh, Max loses his brain. And, uh, you know, Sam gets really angry and upset. And he gets all badass. Basically, Sam... When you normally see him, it's just like, oh, hey, he's so kind, he's so sweet. As soon as anything happens to um, Max, oh, damn, he coming for your ass. Uh, nothing, nothing when Noir Sam came out, he, there, there was nothing in his way. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> uh, the story is getting made. I will turn this into a comic series. If you haven't seen it, I have actually made two little pages of practice. Like, not canonical to the universe per se, but I made them to practice my comic paneling. And you know, I'm kind of proud of it. I think it's really cool. I'll put a few pictures up. Well, actually, I'll put both the pictures up. But basically, um, yeah. <laughs> it's Sam and Max. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to uh, give this, give it a like. And um, hey, if you're not subscribed yet, why not give it a subby, subby, wubby? I'm like nearly 40 subs away from 100, and that's weird. That's very, very unlikely for me. I didn't think I would get this far, but I've gotten this far, and I'm scared. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you all have an awesome morning midday, evening, afternoon, whatever, and remember, you little buggies, to be buggy and awesome, and I'll see you all in another video. Maybe the next one would be a speaking one, who knows, I have a few tutorials in the works. <laughs> this buggy is out.